There are two grass cutters at my block now. Noise cancellation to out sound that is on speech. Okay. Hopefully you cannot hear the grass cutting. So far, week three, we have covered the uh, fact gathering. So we're going to continue with fact recording next week for the lecture. As for the tutorial, I believe we have already done this. So in fact, we are um, ahead of uh, one tutorial. So the same tutorial. It's quite okay since uh, we have few days apart from our uh, between our uh, lecture and also the um, tutorial. And then for today's practical, you will I will give you marks uh, for the organization background, your first presentation. And then after that, I will do briefing for the uh, system planning preliminary investigation, give you time to do your in-class work, and then you will get marks for the in-class work. Lah. And presentation for the preliminary investigation will be done next week. Okay. Uh, when you see evaluate means this is where you will do the uh, presentation uh, and then I will give you all maps. Okay, this is a weekly uh, task. Oh, my internet is quite Okay, so the first question, uh, this one uh, goes to Noel. Uh, advantages and, uh, oh, three advantages. So this one is three advantages of interviewing users um, to determine requirements, meaning face-to-face -face meeting, yeah? So here you mentioned uh, observe body language. Yes, correct. <laughs> we can do that um, to better understand the user's response. Because um, sometimes when you do the interview, uh, they will say, oh, there's nothing, uh, there's no problem so far, there's no issue using the system, uh, no, no, uh, like, uh, uh, no uh, complaints from me. But then when you look at the body language, um, <clears throat> it seems that um, they are, uh, the interviewee might not be uh, telling us the truth. Uh, so that's why during interview, uh, this is where we can observe the body language. Okay. And then next advantage is to clarify facts. Yes, correct. It's face-to-face. -face, um, it's suitable for um, clarifying. Um, interviewer can what? Ah, yes, correct. Uh, whenever it's confused, uh, confusing uh, by the user, then uh, the interviewer can clarify this. Mm -hmm. uh, so at the end of the day, there will be less resistance. Noel, how about the third one? How would you uh, summarize this? Uh, like let's say if the user not good in writing, but they good in speaking face to face. Mm -hmm. So yeah, they can directly say it without yeah any filter like that. Mm. Um, do you all know that uh, why sometimes people, they, they don't really prefer uh, uh, to express any comments in writing? Because that would be something like, oh, I forgot something. I need to record this session. Uh, one moment, I start the recording first. It will be something like there will be a hard copy proof or oh, this uh, employee, uh, they mentioned about um, this, they commented about this, there's a proof, it's in a uh, hard copy. But then when it's a uh, face to face, uh, then there's uh, not so much of um, like um, worry about um, being recorded. Uh, 
uh, written, uh, recorded. Re uh, so they can just be frank about it. Yeah, um, I, I use this system every day and I find that most of the time, this one, that, 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 so they can uh, speak face to face freely. Okay, so that's why here it's a frankness. Uh, freely, uh, they can communicate well and uh, freely, well and freely. But then, um, if you look at the questionnaire, right, um, it's um, some sort of uh, form, so it is a document. Uh, it will be documented, but remember, one of it is uh, it can be anonymous. All right, so as a system analyst, you need to know uh, what type of uh, fact-finding techniques that you should employ when you want to conduct this, uh, um, like uh, you want to find out the user's requirements. Okay, so done with the uh, question 1A. Next is Kelvin. Your question is about um, when should we, uh, should we use questionnaires? So, Kelvin, can you summarize your answers? Ah, uh, yeah, the first, the first requirement is, the first requirement where questionnaire are appropriate method of investigating user is uh, when there are large amount, large number of users, so they when there are a large amount of users, uh, there might not be enough time to interview all of them and get the some get get the reliable sample mm -hmm. sample in time. How big is large number, Kelvin? In your opinion, uh, depends on it depends on the, the 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 company doing the survey uh, can you give example? Like when a when a small shop like in, when a small shop of like. Uh, like a, a small company or like 100 people that uh, I want they need they need a they need a, a urgent they urgently need to know the price the perfect price of a, of a product and then that they that they need to open like tomorrow uh, they need to open tomorrow but they don't they need to they need the data to to know the price of a product but in, uh, and in order for the price to be very accurate they need a lot of people to to not a lot of people to to survey, to, to do the questionnaire, to know, but ah. like a thousand people like that. So, but, but it's tomorrow, my so not enough time to do, not enough time to get the reliable, reliable data. From the, from okay, the, um, from the example that you give it just now, um, it would be better if you are talking about investigating the user's requirements. Okay, so um, for uh, your online assessment, like the final online assessment, the final exam, um, normally for fact-finding technique, system analysis, we focus on the user's requirements. So you should uh, try to remember to give a, a appropriate example. Just now, it's good in the sense that um, you mentioned about insufficient time. So that's why we can use questionnaire. But then um, the the example of the scenario is not that uh, relevant. So always remember, it's to investigate the user's requirement. You are the SA and you want to find out from the user uh, some uh, information about the current system that they are using. Okay. So besides large number of um, users. Oh, and uh, if the if the user are very very spread out lah geographically distributed so it will be very time consuming and expensive to interview the user like uh for example uh how do you say uh, the user very spread out when your employee no uh, i don't know i don't know how to say example uh, or when, the, when, the, when 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 the when there's a popular when a town in a in a very sparsely populated area but and then the 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 people very spread out over the area very fast. like like Mongolia like Mongolia the, the <laughs> plane yeah, you want to do survey for everybody but you want to you want you want to survey how 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 they live their life and the data those things are. 
no, 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 And then um, your company's uh, head office is in KK. You have other branches, one in Sandakan, one in Lahadat, uh, no, Sandakan, Tawau, KK, uh, where else? One more, let's put it somewhere in Kudat. Okay, and then um, as a SA, you need to interview um, these uh, users in uh the branches in the branches uh, in Kudat, there's one manager there. Uh, Sandakan, there's another manager. And then um, Tawau, there's one more manager. So oh. instead of you in KK, you need to go over there, uh, do interview. It's not really... Um, very, very time consuming. Like you yes, want, and like expensive you want to know, also. Like you want, to know, you want to know the restaurant, good or not. Hey, your restaurant good or not the boss good or not oh no 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 not about okay. that not about that um we you need to put yourself in the sdlc system development life cycle say uh, the ceo of your company wants you to develop a new information system for the for the hr department and then each of the branches they're using the human resource system However, in order for you to find out uh, what are the uh, issues they're having with the current uh, human resource system, you need to find out from the user, right? So where's your user? In KK, uh, there's one um, in Kudat, Sandakan, Tawau. So you need to interview the current user. You need to understand how the existing system Uh, works in order for you to develop a brand new one for them, something that is much oh. more better. Oh. Ah, so rather than you you drive to Kudat or you take a plan to Tawau Sandakan, uh, you can just create a questionnaire, distribute it through emails, and then um, um why I say uh, expensive interview is expensive is that uh, when you want to conduct an interview. Uh, it's a face-to-face -face meeting. Uh, um, for a normal face-to-face -face meeting, you need to consider all those, like, uh, perhaps you want to provide some refreshment, okay, something like that, or you need to book a room, or you need to go over there, or you you get your user to come over to your place. This one, um, if you are a third-party company developing a software for another company, so the interview is uh, will give you extra costs. Uh, Okay, geographically oh. distributed. But then nowadays, uh, we can still do the online meeting, right? Ah, uh, yeah. Online meeting. However, if it's a large number of users and you need to get uh, info from like a 1,000 user, you cannot just uh, do an online meeting. Still, it is time consuming. Mm, for 1,000 users, it's much so more just better. use questionnaire. Yeah. So this is uh, the meaning of um, in which circumstances questionnaire they are more appropriate. Uh, uh -huh. Yes. One is a large number of users, geographically distributed users. And how about this one? What's your understanding? Uh, this one anonymity. Uh, like, uh, so the so the user don't have bias when they when they. And they respond like doing interview if they know who you are they will like they will try to they will they might not get accurate and give accurate answer for you they mm -hmm. might, uh, yeah, they might. so when you're when you're anonymous uh they will they will reply on they will they will be more honest uh. and also you also don't know you, you also might not know who who give the bad review so you won't so they won't be scared of you won't, like. be, won't be scared or penalized like right uh, yeah um, but then somehow um there's uh um normally we include this question in our questionnaire like you ask the user um how long have you been using the system how many years okay and then you ask um how often do you use the system perhaps every day or few just few hours a week this is where you want to see the credibility 
the credibility of the respondents. If they are a frequent user, or then you can expect that the the response you get from them to be of high accuracy lah. But then for those who seldom use it, okay, only use the system occasionally. If they say, oh, there's a problem with the system, um, it's difficult to do this. This is um, you should not uh really consider that. Oh, that is really a problem. Um, the thing is, they might feel that there's a problem using the system because they seldom use it. Perhaps they forgot or, or not familiar, right? So uh, these are some of the questions you need to add in. Okay, so you need good. to give example of uh, this, this kind of questions. Mm, no, just to give you um um uh, how to say yeah uh, a uh, scenario where when when there's a uh, anonymity. Um, then the user the user will give their response but then you you might be wondering when you get back your questionnaire hey, this 10 percent out of the respondents say the system got problem with this particular module but then there is say all are good there's no problem they just ask for additional feature but this 10 percent of the respondent from the questionnaire um, they say that there's a problem with this particular module so that is why if you add in uh, the questions asking uh, how long have you been using the system, how many years, okay, how frequent they use the system, then you can see the credibility of their answer. Okay. So thank you, Kelvin. The next question goes to Farah. Um, this time it's about prototyping. Okay, prototyping. Explain how prototyping can uh, help users to. Um, tell them uh, their requirements to the SA. Okay, Farah, what's your answer? Oh, uh, my answer is like a step off. It's like uh, mm. define the requirement from the client and then the, we uh, build Okay, the okay, okay. Yeah. Uh, Farah, I see already. Yeah. I see already. Nampak sudah. Okay, let me copy something. So the question is this. Okay, the question is this. Hmm. Okay, the question is this. Um, how prototyping, how we can use prototyping uh, to help user, help user define their requirements, help user define their requirements. Uh, oh. It means SA cannot even get the requirements from them. So ini tak boleh start langsung. Memang tak boleh start. So um, how how can how can by uh, developing prototype, as they can get the requirements from the user. Here um, we are assuming that from the prototype, as they already get the user's requirement, and then he this is uh, uh, the cycle of prototyping. You oh. get what I mean? Ah, uh, yeah. Ah, uh, so um, if you go back to the um explanation of prototyping, what does uh, what is a prototype? Mm, a prototype is uh something you can refer to your notes. Oh yeah. Okay. You found it already? Uh, yeah. Is <coughs> it in the uh, chapter three, kato. Ah, uh, yeah, prototyping. Uh -huh, okay. Um, a model. Uh, a prototyping is uh, the a model containing key features, like a uh, data entry or a report program that is created by using a uh, GL or case tools. Is that it? Uh, yes, yeah. so in this case, uh, you know that um, it is a, 
a model prototype of the information system mm -hmm. uh, say uh, you want to um, um, the user request for a let me see what information system huh? Mm. Say so they ask for uh, okay, okay. Your user he's in the purchasing department, and he would like to request for a purchasing system um, for his department. But then when you ask him, uh, what do you want to include in the system? What's your requirements? Remember, um, in chapter three, we learn about the functional requirements, the uh, input requirements, output requirements requirements, processing requirements, storage requirements, and then there's also non-functional requirements like backup, uh, archiving, usability, all those. You ask this particular user, um, what do you want in the purchasing system? And then they still cannot tell you, um, I want I want a system that will help me to, to enter the purchase order. Lah. Um, um, can you explain more? That, uh, it seems that they cannot understand. No, not that they, they cannot understand. They don't have background in uh, IS that they cannot explain themselves what they want in the system. In this case, even if you conduct interview face to face, they cannot answer you. You give them questionnaire, mm, not sure whether they can give a good uh, feedback. So uh, you try to do uh, a document review and then you do observation how this user do the uh, process the purchase uh, orders right um but then you still need to get confirmation from this user uh, what uh, what need to be included in the um purchasing system that need to be developed for his department so in this case like mati mati you ask he, he cannot answer you i have one uh i'm not sure whether i've shown you all this have i shown you all this um, not yet. <coughs> okay, let me. Uh, um, not sure whether you can read this. Ah, oh, can. Um, as is the lady with the triangle hairdo, uh, then the user is the guy in the necktie. Oh. Oh, so the okay. user have to know the is point of view yeah yeah so how how can how can we get the user to define their requirements that's the question and the the clue given in the question is use prototyping technique ah so you will give a prototype of the purchasing system uh, and then give to the user uh, get the user, okay, uh, log in into the system, try to enter a new purchase order, okay, key in, key in, and then save, after save, perhaps uh, teach him to like um, print a report from the system and then ask, is this uh, exactly what you want? Is there any other things you want to include or, or order? So this is how you can uh, develop a prototype of the purchasing system okay to help them describe their requirements you get you you'll, you'll get what i i i'm explaining is it oh yeah yeah ah so um back to here we we want to know how by um using the prototype can help the users define the requirements so in this case first of all um i would say uh, use uh, help users to describe their requirements. Okay, uh, Pera, can you add that one in? Help users to describe their requirements. I think you need to delete the uh, delete the. Uh, oh yeah, other. the yeah. This one. Then. You can do a uh, strike through lah. Strike through. Don't delete. At least uh, we know why. Uh, let me do it for you, ah. Uh. Yeah, okay. the eh, di mana to text? Track to. I'm not sure. Eh, eh, salah. Ah, this one. Okay, let me do this. Strike one. 
Okay. So the first one, help users to describe their requirements. Right. Their requirements. Ah, um, okay. So when they try the prototypes, then our the user will describe. Oh, yeah, this is exactly what I want. Yes, yes, yes. Uh, can you add in uh one more function to do this? I can see that it's uh, not uh, added in this particular screen, and then uh, from there you get them to describe what they want because they already see the prototype model, kan? Ah, uh, uh, yeah. So for Ah. Uh. So, and then another thing is once uh, you are able to get the user to describe their requirements, you can also get them to agree on their requirements. All right, so you add one more, help user to agree on their requirements. You can make it into a point, sir. So oh, right. oh, okay, two okay. points already, can? Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, wait, I do uh, to agree on the requirements, yes. Okay, that's the first one. I can then the second one help user to agree on the requirements. And remember, when you have uh, the prototype of the purchasing system to show to the user, then if you're the SA, you can explain to the user. Uh, why don't we add this thing um, in this screen? Then you can do what you want to do uh, that you explained just now. So in this case, it will also help SA to explain a potential feature. Help SA to explain potential feature. Uh, SA? To explain potential feature. Potential of the new system. Okay, good. So is it clear, everyone? Because um, here we want um, to know how by using prototype, uh, user can define their requirements. And if you look at this cartoon gun, this guy, no matter how how this lady as a asking, he still cannot explain what he wants, right? Okay, so in this case, you cannot get the requirements. So as SA, what should pop up in your mind would be prototyping. All right. Okay. Let's uh, continue with the next one. Next one is Noel. I'm here planning an interview uh, about requirements for a new system. Okay, already identify who will be interviewed means the interviewee. Describe three other aspects that should be included in the interview plan. Okay, so or oh, inino, inino. This is uh, not relevant. Okay, not um, in interview plan okay remember that um the definition for the uh, interview is it's a face-to-face -face plan meeting that's why in this question it asks for the uh about the interview plan okay uh, objective yes correct you must have an objective uh, like for example um, the objective of this interview is to find out about your suggestion uh, how to improve the current purchasing system. So that is one objective. Or perhaps the objective is to find out the um, uh, say issues faced by the uh, billing department where they receive complaints about incorrect billing statement so there should be a particular objective if that is your objective then sa will know what are the questions that it will ask and it will also prepare the interviewee or i might be asked to uh, give information about the billing statement so i i better be ready uh, before the interview so you must have a uh, objective of the interview place of meeting yes correct yeah, place of meeting is yes, correct. Uh, place of meeting. Mm, uh, the place of meeting. 
Okay, place, this is place, right? So I believe, Noel, you can take out the date and time as another aspect. Right? Oh. Mm -hmm. So that one should be time and duration of the meeting. You can uh, add one more point, Noel. Time and duration of the meeting. So this one, delete or strike through? Uh, yeah, it's straight through. Uh, we are doing this so that it will help you when you do the, uh, you all do your revision. Okay, just track through, do not delete. But add, add one more, um, the time and duration of the meeting, of the interview. Uh, another point. Time and duration of uh, time and duration of the meeting. So why why do you need to uh, plan the time? Because we need to both party need to agree on the time where the interviewee and the SA will be available. Okay, you don't want to disrupt their work. And duration. Why is it important to know how long will be the interview so that the um, interviewee can plan his uh, day, lah, right? Um, everyone has their um, things to do in a particular day, so that's why it's important to know the time and duration. So time means the date and time, and also the duration. Um, interview, it can be uh, one hour, it can be 30 minutes, depending on the objective, right? And then for the place of meeting here, I don't think you can put in this particular um, info already because um, you are talking about the place, okay? Uh, why is it important to arrange for the place? Um, as what I mentioned just now, interview can be expensive, right? It might be due to the place itself. Ah, SA need to find a suitable place, okay? Perhaps arrange refreshment, Okay, and then, uh, yeah, lah, things like that for time and duration uh, so that um, if both parties agree with the, with the time, right, then it will not um, disrupt the interviewee work, lah, okay, daily chance. Okay, I think while you redo the phrases, uh, let me find uh, some reading. Uh, that I can share with you. Okay, I think I have it somewhere. Um, where is it? Is it here? Ah, uh, 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 okay. I find it already. Close guarantee. References. I think I will. I will upload this to our Google Classroom. Because um, uh, I believe it will be in week five where you need to come up with questions for the interview and the question A. Uh, Okay, let me add, and where should I add this one? References. Hmm, maybe I should put this under references. References. Oh, I think I should put this as a interview and questionnaire. I better do this now. Later, I forgot. Um, then I will put it on the references. Okay, let me add my file. This is um uh, I I scan from the textbook. Okay, the reference book last time. 
Okay, I have all this. Hopefully it will help in your in class work also. These are the uh, reference book, but then um older edition, older edition. Okay, let me while it's uploading, let me see your answer. The user should be clear about the press and then every individual involved must agree on a specific date and time to avoid any okay. How about the duration? When they know the duration, then they can uh, further plan the rest of the day. Lah. How long the interview lasts so that they can plan the rest of their day. Okay, three students. Uh, I have missed you in my other classes. <laughs> okay, for this one, uh, no one yet. It's either Miss Chu or Miss Tang will enter. Okay, for interview. Hmm, my internet is quite slow. Hmm. I better open. Hmm. Oops. One from here. Lah. Okay, this is uh, under interviewing. Okay, guidelines for effective interview. Remember, uh, we learned that uh, to conduct interview, SA must have the skill, right? Uh, so these are some of our guidelines for effective interviewing uh, with the explanation given here. Uh, this is the interview outline. So you need to identify who will be uh, interviewed, the participant. Uh, this is the place, the location, uh, the date, okay, and also uh, the time. Uh, and this is to the to to state the objective, all right? The objective of the interview. So, what kind of objective? Um, you should more or less um, add in everything these three into your objective. Means what data to collect? Uh, what do you want to gain? Okay, like for example, requirements for the new system, uh, which system purchasing system, and then perhaps you need to collect um, some uh, purchase order documents, uh, standard operating procedure, okay, what areas to explore. Say you want to ask the user, interview the user for um, any suggestion for new feature to be added. Okay, so you can add all this in the interview uh, plan. Okay, uh, example would be all this. Okay, um, this is um, the documentation done by the um, essay. Okay, um, about creating the interview questions, you can refer to this. Mm -hmm. mm, this is where the SA uh, do the body language observation. Okay. Post ended question, interview guideline, explanation is given here. Okay, so that is Hofer. A uh, simple questionnaire, um, in case you want to do the in-class work, right? This is just an example of questionnaire. Okay, a uh, one-page questionnaire. What else do I have? Uh, how to develop the interview question. Okay, the do's and the don'ts, open-ended question, close-ended question. The examples are given here, depending on your objective. Lah. Ah, okay, preparing for the interview. So, uh, the interview is a planned interview. Okay, this is how you do it. Uh, you need to give a list of topics so that they can be prepared uh, before the meeting means uh, the objective. Yeah, so this is an example. 
Um, I'm working on the new sales incentive pass system and I need to learn more about the user requirements. So you can make this into one objective. Lah. Okay. What else? Then this is the confirmation of the interview session. And you can read the explanation given here. I believe in your case study, you need to do uh, similar things. Another example for questionnaire. See, it's just a uh, one one uh, page questionnaire because uh, by right for a uh, questionnaire, we focus on more close-ended question rather than uh, open-ended uh, question. Like for example, this is what we have in our notes, right? Only one open-ended. Um, here is also only one open-ended, the rest are all closed-ended question. That's why it can be a one page. But in your case study, I remember it asks for more open-ended question. Mm. And I've uh, highlighted this part, okay, especially for the case study. This is how I will uh, read your questionnaire. But then, um, let me see. Uh, this part is no longer um, applicable. I limit the use of open-ended question because uh, you are required to come up with, I think it's six open-ended and two close-ended, right? So you can uh, uh, ignore this, uh, okay? Ignore this. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's uh, what I want to share with you. Okay, let's go back to the tutorial. Okay, the place, time and duration. Okay, good. So we're done. Okay, time and duration. Very good. Okay, and the next question is um, a system to automate various operation of a library. Okay. Um, Function borrowing books, written books, finds, uh, reservation of books, renewing, browsing, searching, query. Uh, it will be used by the library staff, book borrowers, and readers. Uh, describe uh, three most important non functional requirements. So, uh, most important non functional requirements. Okay, let me put here. The most important uh, non-functional requirements for uh, library. Okay, so here could be a library system. Okay, Kelvin, uh, why do you suggest these three non-functional requirements? Uh, it needs to be reliable and also easy, easy, easy to use and have backup just in case something goes wrong with the system. Mm, okay, um, let me teach you all how to rephrase your answer. You can always refer to your notes, but remember for your final online assessment, right, it's uh, open book and then your matching rate will be higher if you simply copy, copy from the notes or copy from online. Uh -huh. um, perhaps you want, you, okay, let me give you an example, systems, um, library. You, because the case study is about library, right? Uh, uh, library, uh, library system that uh, will not <laughs> that will not be right. <laughs> what am I doing? Uh, that will not. Oh, okay. I will not here. break down. Uh, yeah. Um. Re. Re. Liable. re Liable library system that will not break down frequently. Ah, so I will delete this. Nampak kan? How how we rephrase it? A reliable library system. So you need to rephrase. Okay. Let me change this. That will not break down frequently. So this is a non-functional requirements for what? For library system, and then um. Uh, you have this uh, reliability, right? Uh, the perhaps you can put this as uh, the library uh, system.
system's ability to perform and continue to perform its functions. Okay, here you can get in such as, uh, let me copy, where is the question? Where is the question? Um, such as, okay, I got it. Such as, um, without failure, okay? Uh, the library system's ability to perform and continue to perform its functions. So what would be the library functions? It's already listed in the in the uh, question itself, mm. such as da, 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 need, without failure. We need to write a such, such, such as this example. Or can we can we just skip can can we just not can we just skip the example? No, 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 no. You you need to like answer according to the given scenario. Can what's the scenario? Library system. You are you are asked to um, identify three non-functional requirements for a library system. Memang terang terang sini library system, not a system in general. Okay. Okay. So I want you to uh, rephrase the other two. Can you do it now, Kelvin? Okay. Please, with which end user? Who will be the end user? Uh, the Ada tu in the question. The customer. Oh, not customer, not uh, customer. No, no, no. No. The, uh, check your question. Oh. Oh, 10 minutes to our practical. It's okay. no, staff. Oh, it's... Do, no, staff. Do you have, do you have your a uh, question open? Oh, yeah, yeah. Mm. The library staff, book borrowers and readers. Uh, Easily use the, I think the particular system would be changed to library system. And then a particular business function to perform. A, a, here, since you already mentioned all the functions at the top there, perhaps uh, you can just uh, list out two functions, use the library system functions such as uh, borrowing and returning or recording the borrowing and returning of books. Uh, that is what a library system should do, recording the borrowing and returning of books, yes. The library staff, book borrowers, and readers should be able to easily use the library system functions such as recording and borrowing and returning of books. Oh, I I noticed something, uh, Kelvin. Huh? Um, here, library staff definitely they can do this, but then how about the book borrowers and readers? They cannot uh, do this, but then they can still do uh, browsing uh, uh, or searching for books. So okay. I just change them. Um, either you split it into two, library staff can do that, uh, and then the book borrow and reader. Uh, can can I just, can I just, can I just not, not put the recording, just let them borrow and return? Can I? Every 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 single one can should be on. able to easily use the uh, such as uh, mm. uh, backup and recovery routines. The library system should be able to make a copy in future failure. Copy of the 
Copy of the library data lah kan? Mm -hmm. Copy of the library data can be recovered and restored in the event of loss or corruption. Okay, so we're done. Uh, I think you'll know uh, how I want you to answer question next time if there's a scenario given. Okay. This is the we, can, we, can we answer mm -hmm. in form? Or must we, do we, must, do we, must we answer in sentence or, or can we do in point form also? Kalau point form, make sure it's a complete sentence. Ah. Okay. Mm. Okay. Um, well, I can see that you have a uh, the, the keyword here. Correct. You have the keyword here. And from the keyword, you explain. Okay. Oh, okay. And oh, this is the final question. Question number three goes to Ferrer. Uh, what does it say here? Mm. Oh, two differences between um, mana sudah interviews and questionnaire. What's your answer, Ferrer? Oh, I just uh, mentioned that the interview that will be doing a face to face while using the formal meeting and uh, for questionnaires it is done by uh, anonymity, anonymity and the user will be given a question a listing question mm -hmm. okay let me give you all an advice like tips how to answer questions like uh, find the difference distinguish differentiate comparison my suggestion is you create a table okay you create a table um, where's the table? Uh? Insert table. Um, make it simple. Okay, so this one will be uh, inter. Oops. This one should be the interview, and this one should be questionnaire. Okay. Uh, our focus would be different. But then when I look at your answer, kan, Ferrer, you mm -hmm. are not comparing head to head. It's not apple to apple, it's apple to orange. Um, here oh. you say, interview doing face to face. Kalau questionnaire, uh, done by then... anonymity. Oh, no, 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 no. Mm. So interview, you should put there, it's a formal face-to-face -face meeting, correct? Uh, yeah, correct. Uh, you can type that. Okay. Uh, wait. A formal face-to-face -face meeting. A formal... Um, face to face meeting. How about questionnaire? Mm. Since questionnaire is giving by like um, question. Satu ada face to face, then questionnaire no, ada kat ada. Don't, Don't have. have. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, no, okay. no face to face meeting. That is no how you compare head to head. Yeah, apple to apple. Nampakan? Okay, uh, can you type it there? No formal face-to-face -face required, uh, face-to-face -face meeting required. Okay. okay. Nampakkan? No formal face-to-face -face meeting required. Yes. Okay. Um, hmm. What else? Oh, here you need to think about, uh, how about, let me scroll up. Ini macam ada Noel kah? Ah, ni ni ni. Can clarify facts kan kalau interview? Uh, question eh, boleh kah? Hmm. No, I think no. Yes, that's another difference. Oh, okay. Uh, ah, during facts. interview, interviewees can seek clarification. Or SA can seek clarification. Hmm. If I uh, uh, facts, uh, facts uh, can clarify facts. 
And then for questionnaire, it's the opposite. Uh, it is not possible to seek clarification. Okay. Senang saja kan? <laughs> yeah. Oh, if, if answer in a table also can kah? Boleh. Uh, much more easier for student uh, to check whether their answers are done properly or not. Because for comparison, you need to compare head to head. Macam begini, you are not comparing head to head, right? Mm. So, um, uh, it's better to give a full sentence lah. Okay, interview is a formal face-to-face -face meeting uh, whereby the questionnaire, uh, there is no formal face-to-face -face meeting required. But then this oh, one like is that. really, yes. Because just now Kelvin asked whether they can put in point form or not. Then as long as it's a complete sentence, okay, and uh, it's uh, explainable, easy to understand, that should be okay. So, okay. Um, I think that's all for our tutorial question, right? Uh, yeah. Okay, so I think that's it. Okay, let me stop the recording and let's move on to the next meet. Okay. Um, how about we go for a um, 10 minutes break or five minutes break before we continue with your presentation? Okay, okay sure. Uh, how long? Five or ten? Uh, five. Five or so again. Okay. Uh, five minutes break. I think from now. Kelvin, we have our five minutes breakfast, huh?
Tadi saya pergi beli makanan di warung di kampung Datuk Keramat. Walaupun kita membenarkan perniagaan warung menjual makanan secara bungkus, tetapi pendapatan mereka kurang 50% daripada kalau kita buka restoran itu untuk makan di dalam restoran. Cuba kita bayangkan. Kalau tutup terus restoran tersebut, warung tersebut, boleh sebab ke tidak? Orang golongan miskin, golongan peniaga-peniaga mikro ni. Kita kena fikir. Kita walaupun kita tahu nyawa sangat penting. Dalam masa yang sama juga, kita juga perlu menjaga kepentingan ekonomi rakyat. Yang miskin tu utamanya, B40. Mereka yang hidup secara kais pagi makan pagi, kais petang makan petang. Yang hidup bergantung kepada pendapatan harian. Untuk beri makan anak besok bergantung kepada apa yang mereka peroleh hari ini. Dulu kita tutup selama hampir tiga bulan. Saya dimaklumkan oleh mereka, saving pun dah habis dah. Duit simpanan dah habis dah. Dia kata kalau kajian tutup semua perniagaan, termasuk warung-warung, tepi jalan dan sebagainya, dia orang tak tahu macam mana nak hidup dah. Duit dah tak ada. Kalau tutup dua minggu. Kita kata tutup dua minggu. Bagaimana kalau kes tak selesai dua minggu? Kita tambah sebulan dua minggu lagi. Macam PKP satu dulu, daripada kita tutup dua minggu, akhirnya dua minggu, dua minggu, hampir dua bulan. Hampir tiga bulan. So kita kena fikir juga dalam masa yang sama Penghidupan rakyat Miskin tu utamanya Perlu diberikan perhatian juga Walaupun kita menjaga kesihatan Sebab kata orang Kita tak mahu rakyat kita mati kerana COVID Tetapi kita juga tidak mahu rakyat kita mati kerana tak makan Kerana tidak ada pendapatan untuk menjaga keluarga mereka dan Jadi so, kita kena strike the balance tu Perimbangan tu antara menjaga kepentingan ekonomi dan juga kepentingan rakyat untuk hidup. Ini bukan soal rakyat kita nak kaya ni yang tepi-tepi jalan ni. Dia jual air, air campur, air cendol semua tu. Pendapatan dia mungkin RM50 saja satu hari. Yang itulah nak beri makan keluarga mereka. Eh, jadi kita kena fikir juga. Tadi saya baru dapat satu whatsapp daripada peniaga besi buruk tepi jalan. Kita tak okay, senaraikan so secara detail. Are you detail. ready for your kita kata, presentation? Uh, ah yeah. uh, yeah. uh, uh, present your screen anyone of you uh, if i do like this Ah uh, yes, I can see it. Yeah, clearly. So, start now. Yes. Oh. Oh, oh one moment. Uh, let me record first. All right, you may start now. Uh, good afternoon. And yeah, good today, afternoon. Uh, our group would like to present the case study organization. And the agenda for today is uh, first, new or organizational structure. And secondly, is current systems use. And third is system functions. And I would like to start this presentation with new organizational structure. And this is just the introduction to Speedpass, which is the name of our company, a fictitious company. And as you can see here, Speedpass is an express bus company established in 1980, which delivers transportation services to several major cities within the state of Sabah. Speedbus has a total of 60 buses, which operates from Kota Kinabalu, Kodat, Sandakan, Tawau, Kundasang, and many other 
major cities on the daily basis. So in each bus, uh, there are 45 seats and it is fully equipped with air conditioner, reclining, LCD TV, TV system, eh, and fast in the access to ensure the customer to have a spectacular customer experience throughout their trip. Okay, uh, Noel, I want to ask you, yeah, um, your case study organization and uh, that your group has uh, chosen yeah, a speed bus, I'm sure this is a fictitious uh, bus company, right? So what is your scenario? Yeah, Is it just uh, one one uh, company or um, speed bus also has uh, branches, perhaps offices in, the, uh, in several cities in Sabah? Oh. I want you, uh, uh, please take note on this one. Uh. Take note on this one. I want to know whether it's just one company uh, in, in KK or they also have uh, several other offices um, in the uh, major cities. You, you uh, as a group, because when you want to suggest uh, the ticket system letter, I will ask, um, where will this system be used? Is it only in KK? Okay, where speed bus is? I assume it's in KK. Because huh? okay. it's not mentioned here. So for your final report, please add that one in. Okay, based in where? Okay, so um, um, if if the system need to be installed in the uh, other offices also. Because um, if you can make it clear, um, in this particular presentation, uh, I think next two weeks where you will present the cost and benefit analysis, yeah, uh, your, your, the cost to develop the system, uh, things that you need to purchase, the expenses, or will be referring to um, the organization. Is, where is it going to be used, the system, only in KK, or also uh, you need to purchase computers, for the uh, offices also. Uh, you all understand what I mean, right? Oh, yeah. So add on this info in your introduction. Um, when it, uh, where is it? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I want to see this improvement in your report, lah, your final report. So take note, uh, take note of the changes required. This is for your for your what uh, uh, the final report data. Okay, continue with the chat. So as you can see here, the the very top is the general manager and he manages uh, six major departments, which is human resource department, accounting department, and third operating department, IT department, engineering department, and lastly, sales department. Mm. So um, for your chat as well, you need to mention that uh, whether this is uh, for the head office in KK or do you have uh, other charts for the uh, various uh, offices? So um, if you want to make it a smaller, your your scope smaller, then you can just mention that the speed bus is just uh, uh, one um, uh, office in KK. Okay, having all these departments. Now, so, um, I want... Uh -huh. If like we include the branch, so we have to expand this chart like that. Um, then you need to put a note there that um, uh, what departments are, uh, are available in those offices. Lah. Oh. But then it will be more, more complex. Lah. Okay. Mm -hmm. okay, I want to ask about operating department. What do you mean by operating department? Oh, this one, uh, this one, especially for the bus operator, the bus driver. Bus driver. What kind of department is this? Only for bus driver. Ah, uh, yeah, just for the bus driver and the. 
Did you check whether this particular department available or not? Uh, yeah, I got. I actually we refer to the Rapid KL as uh -huh. a reference, okay. and I saw the the department which is named Operating Department. So ah. that's why I adopt. Rapid the, KL. Um, do you still have the link? Oh yeah, I so I present the link. Ah, yes, yes. I'm very uh, curious about this operating department. Repeat KL. Uh, this one. Uh, See this one, the chief operating officer. Uh -huh. So yeah, project I, and technical support, maintenance or engineering, past academy performance and strategy. But this one, oh, chief this one. operating officer. Are you referring to the chief operating officer? Oh, yeah. So uh, I... no, no, that one is not a department. That one is the remember um the the people at the top of the company we have ceo okay and then we also have coo this is coo cio cfo chief information officer chief finance uh, officer chief executive officer and then this is coo chief operating officer this is a job title not the department also oh, so oh, so, so the operator can be can 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 uh, still it must be included in should be included in the human resource huh? Um, human resource, either in human resource or uh, administrative department. Um, which one would be um, at, uh, appropriate for this uh, speed bus? I administrative department or HR department? I, be, I believe it's HR. HR is more. HR is to sit more in HR because it's there's more there's more lower level, level people in the operating. Because uh, more bus drivers. Uh, yeah, correct. They All they those don't... like uh, cleaners, uh, drivers. Yeah. Okay, they they are actually under admin. Okay, so admin uh, can be also uh, in another separate department. It can also combine with a HR. Depends on the size of the company. So do you agree that we remove the operating department? Ah uh, yes, you remove. The operating okay, remove department. operating department. So you are now left with. One, two, three, four, and five. How about engineering department in your speed bus context? What uh, is uh, the engineering department? Yeah, Kelvin, you want to an uh, uh, answer? Uh, the engineering department is more, is mainly for the main so for uh focus on the the bus and the uh, the how do you say uh, the bus maintenance or the maintenance on the Oh, then why not we rename it to maintenance department? Oh, because, because they might they, they might they might also need uh, they might also focus on improving their buses. So, no, not not entirely main main. Not, so not meaning enough. speed bus is uh, oh, speed no, no. bus focus. Oh, no, no. Is it because oh, no, speed no. bus is a bus company? They oh, provide. Yeah, we should buy bus only, not not engineer bus. Yeah. Do you agree maintenance? All right, should be maintenance, right? Uh, Hello, um, maintenance department. Okay. Uh, if I uh, we put maintenance department, then it will be like um the uh, we have the mechanics, correct? I am mechanics and make sure now I'm clear already with your organizational structure. Okay, uh, continue next. This one, uh, I deliver to Farah. Yeah, proceed. Uh, yeah. Um, yeah. Yeah, I can see ready. Uh, hello, uh, 
today I will uh, present for the second part, which is the current system use for uh, Speedbus. Okay. Um, the current system use within the Speedbus. Um, oh, I uh, got the. This one need to change, Kamis. Ah uh, yes. Um, can you like uh refer to the department? What's the first department? Human resource, right? Yeah. So human one. resource, and then you put a dash human resource information system HRIS. And then we can see clearly. Um, this system is used by which functional area, which department? Yeah. Okay. So you just uh add in the uh, HR department. Uh, ah, for the first one, human resource IS is meant for HR department, right? Yeah, this one is for HR department, yeah. So I think you can um, put perhaps uh, HR department uh, in front or you can put it inside a bracket so that we know this system is used by the HR department. Okay, you have next department is what? The next department will be the accounting department. Uh, okay, continue. So accounting information system. Mm -hmm. um, um, this one, since the, we changed this. this. Already, so uh, what other, oh, before that, uh, I see the bus ticketing system. So which department will be using it? Uh, this. Sales. The sales, sales, sales mm -hmm. uh, yes, then put the sales department, sales department, so this one need to change to, um, yeah, change to, uh, what else do you all have? Oh, can, can we, can we, still, can we also put the bus operating system in the HR department also? Bus operating I I cannot imagine what is a bus operating system. Oh. What is that? Inform oh. oh I guess should not be that. I just yeah yeah. Yeah yeah. Okay. So IT department. Should be maintenance system can uh kalau maintenance, what do they need? Uh? They need um, to know the status and the they need to know like which which like, place, which place need the need maintenance, which place is okay. Yes, and yes. How many, yeah. how many, uh, how many can it something done? like um a system that can keep track of the jobs done, the maintenance jobs done. Yeah. So one? let um uh, so I want to KIV that one. Um you find a name for it, okay, a proper name for the system. Oh okay. okay? Uh -huh. And then that one is meant for the department. Maintenance system. A maintenance company. department, yeah. And the maintenance department. Yeah. Try to find a proper name. Um, the case study say that um, uh, list any four systems by functional area. Okay, so for that. They didn't show they didn't ask for names, right? Ah yeah, yeah, tiada. Okay, tiada. All right. So um, KIB, the maintenance, um, see whether we have other names and then please confirm that we do have the uh, uh, such system, huh? Sarah? Okay. Okay, next. Um, the next will be presented uh, system function to uh, Kelvin. Okay, proceed. Okay, um, wait, how to uh, stop. stop presenting? Ah, uh, yeah. Oh, uh, yeah, I will be presenting the system function, the, the, func the system function part of the, our presentation. Uh, uh, I, will, I will be talking about the four main function of our bus ticketing system. The main, the first function is to obtain uh, the booking information made by the customer. Uh, the second is to collect the customer information uh third to can to adjust the price of the book the booking tickets and also in uh, finally we can enable we can let the customer check the status of the buses online 
Okay, my question is um, back to who will be the end user for this bus ticketing system? Is it only the staff of Speedbus or do you also allow the customer themselves to access this system? Have you uh, discussed about this? Oh, haven't discussed. How about you all discussing it now? Okay, as can, should we only use this system for, for the staff to check the stats, right? the, the, check the, the stats or to if, both? If your storyline is that the end user of this is a bus ticketing system is the, the staff of speed bus, yeah, in the sales department, okay, or, or the uh, sales uh, in charge of the ticket, then um, you, you stick to that. Otherwise, then you're talking about an online bus ticketing system, so your scope uh, will be different. Oh, then I should then uh, I prefer I will prefer the bus ticketing system for the staff only. Uh. So, uh, so or, you, or, or, you, you delete that one and you need to think about one more main function. Can you go to the um uh, Kelvin, can you open the case study question and then go to page six where it lists out the ticketing system uh, description? Uh, we have the case study. Perhaps you can go to the Google Classroom. Or case study, where? Yeah, where? go to Google Classroom. Uh -huh, and? Uh, and then uh, under assignment. Uh-huh. Uh -huh. In some case, oh, let me. Okay, it's under learning Page materials six. assignment. Yeah. Oh. Page six. Yeah. Oh, no, no, it's page four. Page four. Sorry. Oh, page four. It's up there. Go up. Ah, oh, yeah, yes, this yeah. one. Ticketing system. So, um, from here, from this description, you should know what oh. are the main functions that you should include in the ticketing, uh, ticketing bus ticketing system. All right. So I... Um, I can see that you all have uh, the booking of ticket, correct? Uh, yeah. Ada kan? Uh, if you assume that the customer can uh, call call speed bus right. and then the staff will be uh, entering the uh, oh. ticket booking in on behalf of the customer pun boleh or it's a face to face they go to the counter and then apa like it any of these functions uh, described here mentioned in your uh, google slide just now uh we got the we got the collect ticket we got collect uh, ticket I uh, can uh, can I see one more time the the slide collect ticket uh, yeah. collect uh, ticket mana oh of them booking yeah, the <laughs> ticket ticket oh, ticket, uh, yeah. ticket booking ada ticket booking uh, ah. okay made by customer uh, uh, yang... uh, let me see uh, the, what else uh -huh. you better um uh, follow this one now. yeah she should, should follow this but mm. many it should uh, allow it should allow the staff to select the trip details right ah uh, yeah adjust the trip details uh, and, yeah so yeah, but some, some, some of these some of some of these uh they they are they are for customers uh, so i would uh, some of them not suitable uh, because oh, oh no unless no, unless, no, no, unless no. we unless we need unless we move the logic to like a customer selecting the trip the... details um will be done by the staff right i, I mean i ask i mean no, no i mean the the booking and reserve, i mean the booking and reserving Mana. tickets those that, that that function is for customers right oh no 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 done by the staff it also can be done by the staff uh, yeah you you imagine uh at the speed bus company can sana office uh, for a walk-in customer, they can go over there. Okay, I need a tic uh, two tickets to Pundasang for next week. So the staff there will log in into the, the, the uh, bus ticketing system. Okay, find the trip Pundasang. Okay, and then and then uh, get uh, whatever data entry. Uh, when they click book, that is the booking. Lah. Uh -huh. 
Uh, or the staff they receive call from customer, then they get the the, the um, uh, details over the phone. Okay. So the user is still the staff. Okay, then can also add payment. How about cancel booking? Oh, okay, cancel booking or oh. yeah, right. Um, I think um you you can just uh select the the main one uh, um book a uh, reserve ticket uh booking lah. Since your name is bus to bus ticketing system, which one do you want to use? Book or reserve? Both can uh, book or reserve. Uh. Uh, um, uh, just select one. Uh. Uh, you will use this term reserve. throughout the mm. your case study. Uh, oh, use if I say reserve, you I will you, throughout the case study will will use reserve. Uh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The term reserve. Oh, okay. Mm. So you'll decide later, yeah. Ah. So I want ah. uh, the first function should be to uh, reserve the uh, bus ticket and then to process the payment, uh, cancel booking, and the ticket. How to collect the ticket? Huh? Is it like um, they print out the uh, ticket? Uh, the they print out the ticket. Mm, this is what you need to discuss oh, for the four main oh. functions. Um, do you remember remember your database assignment? What's your business rule? Um, uh, maybe you get some ideas there. Uh, miss the booking. Mm. Uh, how? I mean, if the customer book, can they uh -huh. should they pay now or pay later? I don't understand. Oh, the payment would be um, remember after the staff they click um, save, okay, or book ticket. Then the next screen would be the payment screen. This is where the staff need to enter the customer. Uh, do you allow credit card? Then um, select credit card now. Oh, oh, uh, oh like yeah. So mm -hmm. you mean the customer will go to the counter and then the staff will at the, at the counter will, will do the ticket will use the ticketing system like, uh -huh. the, like the uh -huh. so the customer go to the staff counter and then they ask the and then they, they ask the staff to key in the information and payment into the the, the staff computer. will ask for the payment details from the customer so it's not so should not be online should be the customer go go to the go to the counter and then the and then the staff yeah, that, that's what we uh, oh like that just now, right? Ah, right right like that ah, okay ah. I thought, like, my yeah, main... online sudah cancel kan? i was i was mainly i was mainly thinking like uh, I, I, was mainly, I was i was mainly, <laughs> mainly thinking like the customer use laptop in their home and then uh, the i was like that that's thinking. why i asked you all that's uh, why i confused a bit ah. yeah just now i asked about the online customer or oh, customer yang end user kan siapa yang end user oh, so, so like if can, you oh. Uh, if you already decide staff yang end user staff yang guna the system then uh, make sure you stick to the scope otherwise then or tiba-tiba tengah-tengah jalan oh miss we allow online booking also then allow online booking then your scope will be much 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 more bigger all right remember our case study we only have one hour saja for practical better make it a short and simple lah. okay okay so customer can walk in to speed bus or they can call when they call they just oh. need to give they just need to give their credit card number apa lagi the the the, the uh, apa -apa info lah okay. then, I, then this four can uh, yes. Tunggu. ticket booking uh process payment lah. oh, to process payment ah to process payment then can adjust the Booking details like adjust the price or the location or the uh, that one will available. be in the master file. Master file, uh, no need to add in the uh, main function. Oh, um, so, so, perhaps... so this not so this one not suitable. Um, you delete that one first. Okay. 
okay to process payment and then we have to process um uh, cancellation uh, to cancel booking to cancel of booking okay the one at the top that one should i i want to add a uh, select trip details into the um to process uh, uh to perform ticket booking uh, not if you just put just to obtain ticket booking that is just the entering of data can ah uh, yeah just the entering of uh, data so entering of the data it includes the trip detail right where they want to go uh the the seat the the seat number all those should be under uh to uh to process the ticket booking right? mm -mm 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 -mm. okay so we assume that uh selecting the trip details select the seat uh those will be under the booking uh, Can I, to allow um, to allow booking or reserving uh bus ticket lah kan okay? bus ticket so payment you can put there a uh, uh, cash or credit card perhaps tapi kalau uh, uh, you you can allow cash lah huh? <laughs> kalau credit card credit card up to you up to you and then one two so a uh, select strip detail should be in the booking mm. so just now you want to add in uh, adjusting the uh, adjusting the adjust what already the ticket kah? the trip detail that one should be in the maintenance um what should we call that that one is the master file to maintain uh, to maintain uh, bus ticket detail or trip detail huh? maintain bus detail huh? yeah yeah um if generate ticket automatically can add new they can can say can add new trip stuff like that yeah yeah itulah uh, add new trips uh edit the current trip and then for that particular trip how much is it and then if it's no longer available then you can delete that trip so ah uh, yeah 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 ah okay thank you amis mm um any more to add i think they are, they only ask four functions right four functions yeah yeah yeah, yeah. System. Mm -hmm. so um um throughout your case study what will happen is that you will need to always come back to the previous um presentation and then see how you can make sure everything tallies like ah. okay so this is your first presentation uh make sure you do whatever you need to add on all right uh, yeah, hopefully. So I think you're done no with the present. Yeah, yeah, huh? done. yeah, I'm done. Done, uh, done already. Hopefully, yeah? hopefully, I won't be. We won't be. We will be less confused about the system. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's that's why you all must agree. Uh, at first. I know, but uh, it must to apa? Yeah, what kind of system is it? Who will use it? Ah. Yeah, we we didn't we didn't get in, get into enough details of the system, so we confused a bit. Yeah. Yeah, itulah. Yeah, okay. okay. So thank you for the presentation. A uh, generate ticket automatically um, can add also, yeah, because the it is uh, one of the output. Uh, generate ticket automatically, but since it only ask for four main function, see um, to process the or oh, Noel. I think the ticket will be generated after the completion of the ticket booking you agree so i believe uh, it can, cannot be auto i think must be must be manually put in by the by the staff right oh yeah yeah the the staff when they do the booking they will select the trip okay uh enter uh and then after that after the make payment okay after the make payment then they should go to uh, another go back to the screen okay where the uh, payment status will be paid and then there's a button for them to like uh, generate ticket or something like that so in this case what i want you all to do you go online search for uh, 
uh, bus ticketing system. Uh, I'm not talking about the, the one available website. Uh, find any uh, uh, system available that you can download. This is normally what I ask the student to do. Okay, like uh, last time the student, their, their case studies on library. And then I said, oh, go and find library system and download. And then there's one group there, their uh, case study was about point of sale system. Okay, go and find uh, a few point of sale system, select which one is um, the best. Okay, uh, if they found three, download all three, install in your computer, uh, test, explore the system so that you have um, some kind of idea. From there, you can also confirm that your four main functions are all covered. So you need to really see uh, an actual bus ticketing system. I believe you can find this online. If we, find, you can download. If we get to find those, do we need to put in the reference, put in our reference? Uh, so uh, yeah, those the things? reference. Do we need also put um, in the appendix those things if also? It's an article talking about the system. Yes, you can provide the website, or, but then, uh, yeah, or yeah. If it's a, if it, you just download the, the, the program, and you just download the, 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 the completed system, yeah, you so install how, in your do, PC. Yeah, do we still need to reference if like that? You just download. Uh, I believe there will be a page for the explanation of the feature of the system, right? So you can oh. add that as the URL. Oh, we put the real URL from where, like where we get the system like that. Like uh, where, from where we, where we. Don't give me the download URL la. <laughs> You give me um, the, the page where it explains about the system. Ah, uh, okay, okay. Um, at least when you you get this, uh, oh, just like the prototype ma. No, no, you don't have any idea about bus ticketing system. You don't have uh, uh, you you don't know whether your four main function covered everything or not. Why don't you go and download? similar similar system uh, install play around with it and then see how how the uh, ticket uh, uh, reserve uh, booking of the ticket is done a uh, payment apa lagi just now uh, to uh, add uh, add new trip detail also on cancel booking yeah cancel cancel booking ah, mm, okay okay ah, okay good oh it's almost four already okay uh, let's see uh, next would be my turn Okay, my turn. Oops. So next would be my turn. Uh, okay, the case study, right? Okay. Um, for next week, or oh, yes, or oh, can you do a ten minutes? Can you do a ten minutes in class work? I hope you all can. Uh, oh, Russia! <laughs> yes, so rush. Do you have any class after this? Uh, no, I can't. Then continue until you are done. Uh, <laughs> uh, Very rushing. Uh, uh, yeah. Normally, it's like 1.5 hours or even two hours for the diploma. But then uh, I believe they want to add more courses for the RSD, right? Degree program. So they cut off the tutorial uh, practical uh, time. Okay, so for next week will be this one, preliminary investigation. Okay, uh, sources of requests. So based on speed bus, uh, you describe three potential sources of system requests. So if you refer to your uh, notes, uh, it can either be requested by the top management. So I want to hear your story. Lah. Is it the speed bus punya CEO yang request for this uh, development of the ticket system, bus ticketing system? And you need to tell me whether it's development of an entirely new system or um, uh, currently speed bus they are using traditional system where uh, people go to the counter buy ticket and the 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 staff at the counter they write something on the uh, something like the ticket the, the one that you can take off from the book okay just write down the date uh, and then the time and then call up the uh, ticket give one copy to the customer that one is traditional and then the 
uh, request for a new computerized capacity capping system. Or, uh, or you might be saying that uh, currently uh, Speedbus is using a uh, bus ticketing system, but it's already been like uh, six years and they want to uh, use a new uh, bus ticketing system. So I want to hear your story. Tapi when I look at your size of speed bus, oh, boleh tahan, oh. Um, even the bus has recline, recline seats, ada, ada apa lagi ya? Ada internet lagi. Okay, how many buses? 45, 60. All right, so you need to stick to your story. Either you make your speed bus um, still using traditional system, so you need to tone down on the introduction of speed bus or the other way around. Okay, so the sources, let me see, PIS, uh, no, not PIS, SAD. For lecturers, when did we learn this? Uh, oh, I think it's system planning. One moment, ah, okay, it's in system planning. Okay, the sources would be, uh, this one you can see, yeah? Um, either it's from the speed bus stop management or it's due to the existing system. Say if your scenario is, is a traditional system, then the problem is uh, the traditional system, uh, the human mistake, okay, and then uh, you mentioned all the problem are related to traditional system uh, and then that's why this boss asked for uh, a new bus ticketing system, computerized the bus ticketing system. Or if the your case study is um, speed bus is already using a bus ticketing system and then um, now it's already six years, they want to replace it to a new bus ticketing system, then mention what are the reasons they want to replace it with the new. Uh, perhaps it's already obsolete uh, and then uh, the the system is not working well, uh, uh, insufficient uh, reporting modules. So see what are the problem with the existing system, okay? And then it can also be the user's need, means the staff who use the system itself, okay? Uh, perhaps they need something that will uh, make their work more productive, Okay, they are unhappy with the existing system, perhaps. And then uh, external sources, um, maybe speed bus customer, they, they put up a complaint, uh, buying ticket is a hassle, the queue is very long, and so on. Or perhaps it's due to the, uh, here is not listed, but uh, since uh, nowadays, the bus company in Sabah, they, they have your own ticketing system. So you want to keep up with the new advances. Uh, that one is considered as external sources that uh, trigger or pressure the uh, perhaps the use of the top management to decide on, uh, yes, we need a new bus ticketing system. Um, another external sources would be competitors. Uh, maybe in um, Speedbus has uh, several competitors and all of them, they have already started using a uh, uh, computerized bus ticketing system and they, they have many customer, okay, many customer. And then you notice that your customer is getting um, like uh, reduced uh, from time to time. So external sources, uh, perhaps technology or due to customer complaints or due to uh, uh, competitors, you want to have competitive advantage up to you. And then it can also be, okay, you all are the IS department for speed bus. You yourself as the IS uh, department, the SNIS department, you yourself suggest, okay, you yourself suggest that we need this system project. Okay, so back to here. Use theories learned. Um, we have how many? Um, okay, we have one, two, five. five. Uh, yeah, one, five. Two, three. Ah, one, two, three, four, five. So, Pili there is Anna. Mm. Okay, and then the services requested. Um, so, I still want to know your story. Yeah, uh, that dua scenario just now I gave you. Um, and then you need to give me. Oh, out of the five, you give three uh, sources uh, just now. Give three sources. 
and for the services requested, uh, you need to give uh, two potential type of services requested. Okay, use theories learned in the lecture as a guide. Okay, um, as long as your storyline makes sense. Okay, so then, okay, let me show you that one. This is um, the either they want the they request for the bus ticketing system for improved performance or better service for the customer. So it should be tele. Kalau here you mentioned that the um, external sources, customer, they complain that the queue is very long, okay, very long, but you are the only bus company going to San, uh, uh, Kundasang uh, every, uh, with uh, more frequent uh, trips, then they still have to, to remain uh, buying ticket from you. So there's a complaint from this customer, okay, uh, triggered by external sources. Then the type of improvement that you can and, uh, add would be better service. Why? Because you want to improve service to your customer. Correct. Uh, what else? Um, the third one, quality information. Perhaps the end user here, uh, they are not satisfied with the current system due to insufficient information for them to do their work. Right? Uh, say um, the manager asks, well, uh, how many tickets sold today? But they cannot answer. They need to uh, calculate uh, manually or something. And that might uh, trigger the type of improvement would be they want to have a uh, quality information. Oh, so okay. the services provided must be related to uh, the uh, re related to your sources, law, so that oh. your storyline tally. Okay. Okay, it tallies, and uh, another two uh, types would be effective control. Okay, where you don't want uh, to have uh, erroneous data entered into the system. This uh, example here, and also to reduce costs. Say um, here, your reason would be existing system is a traditional system, so it's very slow, and then always at a human mistake. Okay, while well, well, uh, um, um, uh, well, uh, handling the ticket booking, so um, you can say that the you the top management here he asked for the development of a new uh bus ticketing system because he wants to more or less reduce the cost okay the operational costs reduce the number of staff required uh, to handle the ticket booking and so on like uh, existing system is too uh, expensive to operate or maintain uh depends on you lah. many things to <laughs> to to think about that. 10 minutes so, definitely answer, not enough. Answer, answer not so long, right? <laughs> just, just express as long as it makes sense. Ah. <laughs> because this is just an um, in-class work. In-class work. So what I want to see is that uh, you should uh, uh, be able to give me what's the three potential sources of system requests and uh, describe the two potential type of services requested. But then before that, you need to tell me What's your scenario, which um, from traditional uh, ticket selling to computerized or want to replace the current uh, ticketing system to a new one? So you decide on that one first. Huh? Still need by four. Mm, too rush, can? Uh, let me see whether it's ready. Uh, in class work. Hmm. Uh, it's. Oh, ada sudah. Oh, ada sudah nih. Sudah ready. Ah, uh, you decide on this one after you finalize. After you finalize, then you let me know. Okay, um, around, around what time? Uh, four, ten. Ah, boleh, boleh. Ah, four, fifteen lah. Four, fifteen. Okay. okay, see you guys.
Um, do you want to see example? Uh, can I show? Can. Uh, this one is from my diploma. Okay, I think I can show it to you. Uh, one moment. Um, their case study is on Nestle. Uh, where is my present button? But for diploma, um, their, their assignment is much more detailed. Okay, because they have two hours of practical, so more time to to do um, their work. Uh, let me see, just to give you um, an example. Um, what is this? Uh, this is um, the four systems um, that they have identified for the each of their functional areas lah. so marketing functional areas uh, marketing department finance department human resource department and and then uh, for nestle they have this uh, uh, production okay operation and uh, operation their title is in fact on inventory and stock control system okay just to give you an example Mm, see, they even have to explain, right? You all just need to list out the name of the system because uh, only one hour. Um, and they design their own system request form. Okay, let me show you the their storyline. Uh. Uh, I asked them to um, to give me their storyline. Okay, they are saying that uh, their problem is the current inventory system and they are always facing inventory issue, which they managed to find uh, a, a proof for this. But and yours is a fictitious company, right? Um, one of the problems, again, uh, faces shortages of the finished product delivered to the retailer. So uh, starting from the uh, early of the semester until the end, I keep on reminding them. I thought the reason why you you develop this inventory control, inventory and control, uh, stock control system is to address these two problems. Ah, okay, Miss. Okay, okay, okay. We remember already. So you need to know what's the problem that will trigger the system request. Therefore, uh, the scenario is they want to do enhancement or modification to the existing inventory and stock control system because for them. Uh, Nestle is not um, like it's not possible, tidak logic lah. It's not logical at all that they are still maintaining traditional system. So they are saying that um, they are enhancing the current inventory and stock control system to solve the inventory issues and expand the market growth and revenue. This is uh, the, uh, the storyline. Okay, and then the source of requests, so they have directives from top management and they explain uh, why the top management of uh, Nestle would like to enhance the existing system. So you can read through, they uh, explain it quite well, okay. And then the, the description here always go back to what's the problem um, faced by Nestle, okay. Uh, and then external sources here they would say uh, the Nestle retailers themselves um, ask them to improve the inventory and control system because um, they found that uh, this problem lah. okay uh, so with the system improvement business relationship of the organization with the retailers will be da -da 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 -da. okay so this is the storyline and then another one is existing system there, there's a problem with the system that caused this, uh, this thing is always facing inventory issues. And they notice that one of the sources, the existing system itself, uh, there's a problem, there's an error. Uh, for example, incorrect data being input um, and then the products are out of stock from occurring. And then the system, there's no uh, alert or notification to notify the user when the product stock is running out. Okay, so these are their, their um, sources of requests. And then the service uh, requested, again, tell you with this uh, story given just now, type of services requested by Nestle Malaysia, correction of errors, improvement. So they are improvement. It's not um, 
uh, computerizing a traditional system or is not replacing the, the, the existing system for them. They just want to uh, improve or do the correction of errors. Okay, the type of improvement, improved performance, this is how they explain. Again, uh, they mention again the difficulties in supplying the raw materials. So I can see that they always tell you back to their original story here. Their story, inventory issue. Da, 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 and then that's why it triggers this system request. Okay. And then uh, improved performance, uh, better service. So they want to provide better service to the retailers. Why? Because here it mentioned that uh, external sources, retailer themselves, yang uh, put a pressure to Nestle Malaysia to improve the existing system. Okay, um, just to let you all know, these are just their assumption. Uh, but then I asked them to find out where, uh, whether Nestle is uh, having any issues or not. And they managed to find from this article that uh, Nestle uh, Malaysia problem with their inventory system is like this. And then the rest of this, these are assumptions done from them. A logical story makes sense as long as uh, it supports the, the contents. Up. Okay, let's continue. Improve performance, better services. Next, they want uh, quality information because uh, Nestle faced this problem, inaccurate orders, blah, 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 blah. And then another one is effective control uh, and so on. For your case study, you only need to describe two potential types of services. Diploma student, they have a lot. Yeah, yeah. Okay. So um, you have an uh, idea already? Oh, uh, yeah. Um, but then for the in-class work, what I want you all to show would be just list out with brief detail no need to come up with this um, uh, this uh, very accurate description. That one you put in your in your Google slide for next week presentation. Okay. okay so for today, you just need to agree on the three uh, sources for system requests and then the two type of services requested. And I want to uh, know your story also, lah. Okay. Once you're done, uh, let me know in the chat box.
I'll miss you can check up. Uh, yeah. All right. Uh, let me go in here. Yeah. Might be wrong or something. No, as in class work is whether you complete or not. Huh? Um, okay, let me record the meeting. Okay, for today, right? Uh, based on the uh, presentation just now, um, the Q and A. There are certain things that you you cannot handle, kan? The Q and A. So instead of full mark, I give four, and then for the completion, uh, actually it's complete. Only the correctness. So almost all of which are correct. So I put uh, eight here. So now I'm going to give your marks for the in class work, lah. Okay, in class work is only whether you complete the entire task or not. So let me see. Um, scroll up in class work. Okay, what's your story? What's your story? Okay, your story. Oh, no story. What's what's your storyline? Eh? Oh, this is it. Uh, Currently, yeah. this is your storyline. Uh, yeah. Okay, the existing bus ticketing system of speed bus hasn't been improved or updated for a long time. Now it has become inefficient and contrarious that might cost a lot of money. Work better, existing system. Okay, users niche. The current customers are having long queues at the counter due to the stuff not being fast enough for uh, processing the uh, ticket, uh, ticket purchases. Uh, the staff cannot work efficiently with the current uh, yeah, the yeah. lack of useful feature that can speed up and smoothen the ticket purchase process at the counter. I am looking forward for this. Okay, um, in the coming in the coming uh, uh, presentation, right? External factor. Ah, technology has pressured the company to develop a better bus ticketing system to keep up with the competitors. Uh, as competitors of speed bus continue to improve their system and get larger shares of customer, okay, as well as uh, 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 to reverse downward trend of monthly. Okay, so um, you have um, give me three main potential sources. Yeah, these are potential sources. Very good. Okay, two service requested. Um, I would like if you can tell me um, whether um, uh, are you are you saying that uh, you the the system request is to uh, uh, to request for system improvement is it or to replace the current system? Uh, improve uh, mostly. Uh, improve. Kalau improve then. Um, here in the introduction, talk something about it so that um, it will help to explain the whole thing, just like uh, what you saw in the demo just now. Okay, two services requested. Oh, ada tiga nih. <laughs> uh, services requested. Not sure. Yeah. Ini dari mana? From where is this? Oh, uh, tunggu. Wait, I, I not, I not in, see her. I not. Uh, I'm not sure if you want directly the feature, or you want, uh, or the, or yeah, you want the improve performance and reduce costs. Yang like inilah, that. yeah, improve performance, reduce costs. Oh, so the sales like report generators, no, not need... directly. Uh, that one, it could be quality information. So, which one would you go for? No. If I look quality. at your, quality. if you have stated your problem here, then I will know which one uh, is more suitable. Uh, what's your, uh, what's your uh, the issue that Speedbus is uh, facing? Just like I show you the the, the diploma student uh, assignment, can they they are saying that uh, the inventory has problem with the inventory balances and also uh, errors. Uh, when they want to to uh, handle the order from the 
uh, order uh, from the retailers. And so now I want to know, uh, not improved or updated for a long time. So what seems to be the problem? And then here you mentioned not fast enough processing the ticket purchases. There's nothing about a user asking for additional information from the system, right? All right. So need no need the user mm -hmm. need the like the staff. Uh, unless unless um here your reason is existing system that um insufficient information you mention it here then over here should be quality information ah uh, can mm -hmm. be quality information uh, so later you you decide this is a uh, you have a extra one improved performance uh, that can provide better services to the staff uh, this one okay uh, it, this one tallies with what I see here, the uh, user's need. Yeah, it tallies with the user's oh, yeah. need because the uh, the source of uh, system request comes from the user themselves. Okay, reduce cost, need to get a system that will make less errors. So, okay, less errors. Um, you are saying that there's a problem with the system. So make sure you mention here clearly, uh, what kind of errors? Mm. Oh, yeah, they have that, that one I haven't thought about. Maybe. Mm. So, uh, so that one, yeah. uh, you pre uh, the reason why that we have in class, kind of the reason why we have in class uh, presentation is that uh, to to let you all know that you are on track and what are the things you need to improve uh, to be ready for next week presentation. So you think about it. Um, yang ini, awesome. this one is uh, very good already. It tallies with this one. Okay, so um, work on this one. Uh, this one macam okay. Uh, the existing system punya storyline uh, perhaps you want to combine these two up to you or you just want to choose uh but then is there any in, uh, uh, wrong about insufficient information uh there's nothing wrong. i think the reduced cost i can i can remove and then just put in the quality information instead yeah, uh, what kind of in information do you I think they need remove the it, error I, since i cannot think of an error yet so i just remove like uh because old old time the the uh, the quality information like uh, cannot keep up, like maybe they don't keep up like the type the kind of like the kind of customer they come from where like that, those things mm. they need they, the old system don't have don't have the information mm. they not sort the customer into more diverse types like that cannot mm. or like uh, which which location is more popular than which other location or oh, remember bus ticketing so system the is a TPS transaction processing system where it keep tracks of the uh, ticket purchase transaction it's not an mis which is a management information oh, system. Not, oh, oh, so not so no customer so not so no custom information just ticket purchases uh, it's uh, all about just keeping keep track of the ticket purchases and at the end of the day the staff can still uh, print a report about the daily uh, ticket sales that's all all uh, right so can so like and like can we say the old system don't have the way to check which which uh which office or which which bus ticket is more we bring more profit like that can bring better bring more uh uh more as more ticket sale like that or which location is more popular it has more ticket sale than the, than the other one like that kind mm. of information i think that is not transaction processing system unless unless you all can go ahead and download uh, a bus ticketing system uh, you install and then see whether uh, uh what kind of reporting they provide uh, they can confirm report mm, the reporting That's function can every system they they should uh, have a print report function yeah, the only the reporting reporting isn't doesn't reporting the ticket sales count then a ticket sales count. Mm. Then also sort sort then sorting sorting the sorting the ticket sales doesn't count. 
as long as are you referring to or what you can do using your database now query uh, uh, group it by trips is it good, yeah, that's it like, uh, trips like destination or like which one which bus is uh more trips like that then in that case for your users need then it's about uh users the the need um a more meaningful reports then you explain okay um here it's due to the one feature that can speed up the ticket process due to there's a complaint from the from the uh customer right and eh, no no other complaint from customer uh, tak ada. Uh, no, no. only no. this one is competitor uh, tak ada. why do you but here you're talking about to speed up the ticket purchase uh, the that, users that, need uh, yeah just no, so I, it contradicts it contradicts with uh the reporting mm. uh, but the huh? contradict report but we says we we improve the improved informant performance already said we want to just by speed up by improving the navigation mm. the, oh yeah yeah any other any other yeah any other oh i mean yeah because now I I want to know what's the reason you want to uh, remove this and then you want to keep this, unless um, you mention you mention this in the existing system also. Uh, so macam tidak tali lah. I can remove then I think. Uh, uh, so. I think this one you really need some time to digest. No. But so far, I accept, I accept the three sources and then ask for the services requested. I hope next week punya presentation, uh, you convince me uh, only two services. Ah. Boleh kan? Oh, so because, in the, uh, because I cannot find then discuss so, how about uh, noel Ferrer? What, what do you think what uh what type of services hmm. if, the, <laughs> if the source if the source we change one into uh the top management want more detailed sales can then more, um, the the here you more detailed sales can and, and, then, here you can, and then here you can put quality information oh, can. Okay. so we just so if we want the quality information, we just we need to change one of the top, one of one one of the. Yes, yeah, so that it tells us. So or oh, that can can think can. Ataupun, ataupun you you we can refresh, this. you can refresh this one. Um, uh, existing system doesn't provide oh, enough information or oh. or meaningful reports for the management, for example. Yeah. Uh, apa sudah your example just now um, um report about the daily sales group oh, by group destination by destination or the like region uh, AL, or the, or not, destination and yeah yeah yeah, yeah. group by okay, destination kan? and bus so it must tell you lah kalau your existing system there's so a problem add, with uh, uh, so, we just, so we just need to add like info insufficient information into that into that into that first uh, so that so that there is a reason oh this existing system or oh, they don't have such report so that's why they in fact request for a quality information here okay, okay. Mm. understand understand then uh, so don't use sales report generator okay 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 paham, ah? so you the i already prepare for every week lah so you just need to to uh, put it in okay and then make it uh, your presentation uh, attractive so for today in class since uh, all complete you give me three sources you give me um, two services okay this at berapa tu Lima marta. So I give you five bucks for today in class work. Complete work. Okay. So your total mark now is 21 marks out of 280. <laughs> okay. Um, I guess that's all for today. It's already uh, uh, 4.33 minutes. 
Yeah, uh, sorry that we it takes too long for us. So. Yeah, too rough. Um, so so I cannot get enough details. So cannot get enough details <laughs> for the others. <laughs> Uh, in class work, it's okay as long as uh, you you do what is needed and then you you confirm uh, everything during the presentation uh, so okay. that you all can answer my Q and A. Okay. Okay. Uh, oh, oh, so we still need the introduction. Uh. Yeah, you need to introduce. Um. Uh, yeah, uh, yeah. Problem. Tell me, is it? Uh, what's your story, really? Uh? Uh, like in the man. Current, the, currently, since the current system is very inefficient and it doesn't provide enough information for the company, and the and then can say that the staff can the not the staff need a, a smooth uh, easier easier time to navigate the systems to make their to do their job better. So and um, queues, those things like that. Are you saying that it's replacing the current system or improvement of the current improving, system? Which one? Improving the improving. current system just improvement lah, not replacing yeah well, uh, is yeah. that is, is a big difference uh, for those those two oh other difference color improvement means they only improve certain parts to them yeah I mean, color replace really, really. then they need to uh you all like uh, it department can you all need to develop a brand new information system mm, i see um, okay let me see what's your story here um uh, hasn't been improved or updated for a long time so we, we kalau a long time means deserve to be replaced already or kalau macam five to six years normally system need to be replaced oh, uh, right. oh, yeah. if it's oh. less if it's less than that then um improvement okay tapi ni for a long time so you decide here either improving or um replace because it's already not updated for a long time. Hmm. Hmm. Okay. Huh? Any Could more questions? Improve or replace that? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, then you all decide. Aye. You need okay. to decide. <laughs> okay. Okay. So if there's no question, then I'll stop the recording. Okay, so I'll see you guys on Monday. Okay. Okay, Miss. Bye bye. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Welcome.